Find the work to be performed in order to blow a soap bubble of radius r if outside pressure is P0. So we have this gas which is at P0 in the atmosphere and let's say its volume is V1. So that gas is now compressed inside a soap bubble. So we are assuming the process to be isothermal. So of course, if the pressure is increased, the volume will reduce. So because eventual pressure is high, this gas is compressed. So when we need to find the work performed, so whatever work we are performing, part of that work is used to compress this gas. And some more work is needed to create the surface of this soap bubble. So now we can write that total work external is equal to energy needed to form the film plus work done in isothermal compression of gas. So let's read that assuming isothermal process internal energy of the gas remains constant. So total external work gets used up as energy in film formation plus work done in isothermal compression of gas. So energy of film formation will be surface tension times total area. So S times twice of 4 pi r square. Twice because it's a bubble. So the surface area will also be twice. And we know work done in isothermal compression is P2 V2 ln P2 by P1. So now, so why we are writing in this form? Because we don't know initial volume. So we should not write it in the form of P1 V1. And we don't know temperature also. So we should not write it in this form of NRT also. So this is the best way to write so that we can write the answer in one step. So work done in isothermal compression is P2 V2 ln P2 by P1. And all these values are known to us. P2 inside the bubble is P0 plus 4 S pi R. V2 is 4 by 3 pi R cube. And again P2 is this and P1 is P0. And this is 8 pi s r square. So this is the total work needed. All right.